Even if you visited Paris a lot, often you don't actually see into a Parisian kitchen. So I thought you might like to come into one that I know and find incredibly charming. This kitchen belongs to a friend, and as you can see, I can almost touch both walls in both directions. And it means there's not a lot of storage space. And that's what I love about it, because it means that everything is out so you can see it, which is so inspiring, you know? It's not a sterile place, it's real. So here you have all kinds of colanders and graters and pots and pans and wok. You can quickly grab one and make, for example, a nice soup. Over here you have all your washing up stuff hanging right there, so practical. There are cookbooks on the wall right here little shelves full of utensils. So look at the size of this little refrigerator. I mean, this is a family kitchen. That's the fridge. Mini, mini. So there are vegetables here on a shelf, all organic. A sausage. There's tea, potatoes, a little bin of ginger and garlic. See, it's inspiring to have that stuff, you know, visible. And there's also room, miraculously, for equipment. You have four feet of counter space, but there's room for a juicer. Wine glasses, essential. This toaster is a social toaster, enough to make a few slices of tartine. This wonderful whizzer machine. And lots of room for spices. Just a tiny Paris kitchen, and it's absolutely perfect. Inspirational and quaint, and look. Even a little place for a little dinner bell. A perfect little Paris kitchen. Thank you.